Just because of my background in science, the, that scientific method-driven approach of asking questions and determining outputs and, and measuring all along the way was something that Tamer made very easy for us. So it went from legal entities, that was our definitely the number one use case and the biggest value to the firm, but then we really started to branch out from there into the full suite of all of our master data management uh, data sets. Um, and as the relationship has grown, we got better at using the tools, it, it's really been a fantastic partnership for us. Everybody having a go-to place for accurate data can't be overemphasized how important that is in implementing any sort of digital transformation strategy. And it all starts with your master data management data sets. You need to know all the rules in advance to identify duplicates. It takes massive amount of time and effort to analyze, design, and implement, and to test the rule-based solution. The third type of solution is more modern, artificial intelligence and machine learning based solution where the tool learn from the data rather than implementing the rules. In my experience, an AI ML based solution has an order of magnitude advantage over a rule based system in terms of faster time to market and higher data quality. We use Tamer as an, our MDM tool and I'm amazed by the speed at which Tamer can dedupe customer data using its human-guided AI ML-based solution. The time to market was in weeks rather than months. That finding what my record is from one company mm. to the next company to the next company internally, that's a big challenge because as, as, we, as we talked about, data quality and architecture is different, but also matching it to external sources. So obviously when we're here at Tamer, um, mm -hmm. one of the big companies that I'm very happy with what we're doing so far is, is really Tamer on, on helping us say, saying that, think, um, that, you know, how do we match the same um, entity across tools, mm -hmm. uh, across databases, I'm sorry, and not only that, but also how do I track down long term. Mm -hmm. How do I track the data provenance of that? So one of my challenges is, you know, today I can have data that this is my, my present today. Mm -hmm. It changes two months from now, but I may have made decisions based on this data. Yeah, yeah. Being able to track where all that data came from is something that is really important for us. So you need the provenance yeah. of the data, you know, to, in order to at least be able to understood, understand what the state of the data was at the time you were making that decision, even if it's changed dramatically. Exactly, and not only that, but uh, with GDPR and more data privacy yeah. coming in, into play, when I have a question that's a GDPR related question, I need to be able to track it down to the source. Tamer's approach is appealing to us because it leverage the machine learning to manage the rules, and it's less rule-based, but more machine learning driven. It's more scientific way, and the, what I like most is it's all, not only about machine learning. It brings human beings in the loop. So there is a great interface. Um, our data stores can use and compare the results side by side and input their feedback into the system. Whether it's wrong match or right match, the human beings can tell you um, the results. And then the machine take the input and retrain the model. So we can continuously improve the model to increase the quality of master data matching. So that I think is really good.